Do you know what you need to know concerning your child's risk of suffering a concussion playing a contact sport? Some state lawmakers say current laws don't go far enough to protect children from permanent injury. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us live with more on this story. It's important, Mark. Uh, hi, uh, Ann and Keith. Good evening, everyone, from the Hartford news Newsroom. Uh, former big-time NFL players have been making more and more people aware of this. But the problem is especially acute to kids under age 14. Connecticut was among the first states in the nation to have a law requiring coaches to be educated about the dangers of concussion in contact sports. Now there's an effort to take it a step further by having sports leagues provide parents or guardians with detailed information on how the injury can have long-lasting and even permanent impact and require written clearance from a medical provider before returning to play following a concussion. This is not so much about return to play as it is about the possibilities of a life-changing injury. 18-year-old Luke Sherwood of Westport came here with his mom to help push for the change. He suffered multiple concussions playing soccer when he was 12 and 13. I had double vision, um, blurry vision. I was confused, disoriented, um, pretty much any symptom you could think of. Um, I was nauseous. I, I couldn't think straight. Um, of course, the pounding headache that, that never went away. And if you think modern helmets solve the problem, you're wrong. They will protect from a direct or linear blow. But that's not the issue, especially among young kids, because young kids have a weak neck. What they can't do is significantly limit rotational forces, the forces that are most involved with concussion. But Steve Philippone, a longtime football coach at Hand High School in Madison, thinks some of what's in the law is unnecessary. I think it could be construed as a, as a lack of confidence in our ability to handle the situations we're confronted with every day. Now, if you'd like to see and read more about concussions and young people, come to our website, WTNH.com, and click on the story. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.